Alrighty, we're back for part three of 4.4 number 13. So I just wanted to, to pick up where I left off. Um, these formulas, because of the way I set it up as I was talking to you guys on the second video, it, it'll work out with the dragging thing, which is always nice in Excel if you can manage it, right? So let me just show you. Um, by taking percentage of dead here that were smokers divided by the total smokers, and then it does it all the way along, right? There's the next age group. There's the percentage, there's the number of dead, there's the number total. And oopsie, there we go. And so on. Now it should not be shocking to anybody. By the time they're 75, they're all dead. Okay, so 100% are dead by the end. Same thing with the dead non-smokers. Okay, so if you look at this, there was the first one I did. I took the non-smokers that were dead, which was two. There were only two 18 to 24 year olds that were dead, that were non-smokers, and divided by the total. But then when I dragged it, it filled all the rest of them in and so on. Okay. So those are the numbers I'm typing in. And by the way, if you're ever feeling extremely lazy, you can format the number of the cells to three decimal places, and then it'll actually give them to you all pre-rounded, and then you don't have to sit there and be like, okay, what decimal place am I looking at? So you just right-click, format the cells. Well, I highlighted all of them and then right-clicked. Although the one's kind of weird. Um, whether you want the one because it could be 1.000 or whatever but since they said they want three decimal places that's what I'm doing 0 0.063 yay all the good effect all right next draw a bar graph of the conditional distribution that's what we found here that's what that's what this is a conditional distribution so draw a bar graph let um the red bars represent smokers and the blue bars represent non-smokers well, let's see. Okay. Notice by the end, by the time we hit the last age group, everybody's in the one range. So there's no way this graph is right because this has got some weird bar at the end that's not up to one. So it's got to be one of these two. Okay. So let's look at the first bars. 0 0.054 and 0 0.032, which makes sense. When you're young, you're not going to die from almost any reason. Only a couple people, three smoker or sm and and two non-smokers are dead at that point which is a very small percentage so there's no way this is right because this is saying 20 percent 0 0.20 would be dead after when they're 18 to 24 so there's no way that's right so this has to be the one all right then choose the correct answer below um, in almost all age groups smokers had a higher death rate than non-smokers yeah so let's look at it smokers 0.054 non-smokers that smokers non-smokers okay so that one's a little bit higher for the non-smokers see right there just a little bit smokers higher there smokers are higher there smokers are higher in this group age group and smokers are same pretty much in that group and of course they're the same at the end so let's see in almost all age groups smokers had a higher death rate than non-smokers there's no difference between smokers and non-smokers in all age groups smokers had a lower death rate no in almost all age groups smokers had a lower death rate than non-smokers so, nope, it's got to be that one. Cool. All right, so we're all done, and we have finished, I believe, this lovely question. All right, so I hope that really helped you guys with 4-4. In particular, that second table is really kind of confusing. Um, so just remember, it, it helps if you make Excel do a lot of the heavy lifting. And the way I did it was kind of crafty, if I do say so myself. So using the, the cell referencing really helps here. Of course, you could just type it all out by hand. I mean, when I'm finding these percentages, I'm finding this divided by the total of that. All right, I hope that helps. I will see you here for more videos. Take care.